Hello everyone. In this video today, I will show you how you can make him off on uh, Magneti Marelli ECU Generation YAV4. Doesn't matter if it's YAV4, LV, ML, HV, TV, AV, CV. The important uh, step is to follow the proper steps. Most of this issue can be made him off. Of course, there are few where the him off is not working, but you will see later in this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, like, share it. Let's proceed. Let's open the ECU. Okay, I need a better head, or I think I will need another screwdriver. Okay, I'm back with the screwdriver from my workshop. I will open the ECO now. Opening the ECU, it have a strong glue. Even after so many years, this glue is still strong. Okay, one side removed. Okay. The other side also removed. Now we are on the good way, but we still need to remove this protection cover. Normally how I open, I use a tip and I'm trying to bend a little bit in outside and push inside the clip. The margin I will push outside and the clip inside. So, front cover removed, the back cover is here, we can leave it there. Nothing important on the back side. On this side we have the flash memory, the processor and the EEPROM, it's this one. Let's see. Okay. It's a 95080. Normally, I usually don't mark where is the pin number one, but always do a mark or, or a sign or take a picture. For example, I'm using this paint marker. I will make here a line and also on the chip should be aligned with this line but always if the logo it's here st in this case the pin number one it's here okay, first let's add some flux and then solder the epro As you can see, EPROM memory is out. Always clean the PCB because it will be easy to solder back the EPROM very straight. Even if you don't clean it perfectly, 
clean it. Let's proceed with reading. I will use my T48 programmer and the EEPROM adapter. Okay. It's aligned and let's switch to, to the computer to proceed with reading and show you how to do him off. Okay, we have the the EEPROM in the adapter, the programmer connected to the computer. Now we will choose the right memory. 95080. I know it's an ST. It's a SOIC8. Okay, click on the read and we have data. Normally it's very important if we have VIN in the EPROM memory or not. I save it to the EPROM. The EEPROM is here. I will open the software. I know the ECU, the ECU type. So, in my case, for the EL4LV with V number inside, it's no uh, possible to do EMOF. Let's see. I loaded the file and I will give the check. So I get only the pin code and not the emo of status. In this case, you cannot do emo of. Okay, as you saw. For this specific issue, it's not working. But it's not working because the, the version of LV have the VIN written in, um, in EPROM memory. Now, what I will do, I will solder fast uh, the EPROM back and I will put the second YAV4 ECU, which I grab from my warehouse in order to, to finish this video. I already removed the back cover. So it's a YAV4MV.DS. Okay, the cover is in bad shape. Also here seems to not have been touched. But the good thing I scratch only the ground. Same story. Let's make a, a mark. Let's see what have this inside. So also uh, 95080. I will unsolder. It promise out. Clean fast the board. Let's put it back in the same uh, EEPROM adapter. Okay, we are back with uh, the second memory from the second computer, which is a Magneti Marelli YAV4. Let's uh, clear all the buffer. It's the same EEPROM. And hit the read button. Read.
Okay, we also have uh, the VIN number. I will put underline second ECU. I know the second ECU, it's a 4MV that DS. So I will load the file for the second. I will uh, click on the check. So as you can see, we have emo on. Even if the VIN is present, it's applying only to LV and ML. MV can be made em off. So we save the file. So we have this generic name generated by our software. If we load that file and we click on check, we see the status em off. If we load again the original file, the emo it's on. Let's make a, a quick checking. So the only two values changed are here at address 93 and 95. From zero to from zero three, it's going to zero two. From a seven, it's going to a eight. I don't know if this can be applied to all uh, to all issues or not. Okay, as you can saw from the computer, for this issue, emof was possible even if had VIN number inside the EEPROM memory, the first issue was not possible. So the takeaway from this uh, video, it's always keep in mind, for most of the YAV4 issue, it's possible to do emo off, except LV, ML with the uh, V number. Regarding the software, it's free. You will find on internet if you look for it. If you like this video, as always, subscribe and have a nice day. Bye bye.